Built on the order of the Abbasid Caliph al-Mutawakkil in 247 AH, 861 AD, the Nilometer on Rada Island is one of the oldest in Egypt. This stone structure features 45 steps descending to the bottom of a well, with each step precisely measuring 24 centimeters in height. By counting the steps reached by the water, the ancient Egyptians could swiftly and accurately read the Nile's water level. Because the architect wanted to let the water go inside the, the Nilometer gradually and smoothly. So one door for one layer, yes. one floor. Yes, yes. Oh. With this rounded shape, it will absorb the chalk of the water, mm. not to go directly to the column. Mm -hmm. Then it could affect the stability of this column. Mm. This design was based on the principle of communicating vessels. Under the same atmospheric conditions, the water level inside the Nilometer remained in perfect sync with that of the Nile itself. Across Egypt, nilometers were more densely distributed in the south, the upper reaches of the Nile. This was because the upstream regions could detect flood levels earlier. Messengers would then travel north by boat to report the readings, allowing downstream areas to take timely and effective measures to manage and mitigate flooding. 